Hello, hello everybody, this is Kiru Show here, and before I get into the what if, this is going to be going over Islands events. Also, I'm going to do something I think I, I don't do in a lot of my what ifs, but I make sure, like, I change a bit things up. You know how I said All Might was basically in canon, he was at 70% because of his injury? But that one pro that actually helped him with his injury. Now that was actually Merlin. I left that plot thread open in case I needed to. So now that I'm actually bringing her into the story, I can confirm it was her. Because sometimes I like to do that. I like to leave things open in case I need to... Either if I think if I say I can do them and people want it, I can do that. And if the people don't want it... Or I don't want to do that, I can just change it immediately. Now, because of this, I am actually going to be including something I usually don't do. Now then, let's cut to it. Let's see, I just finished up with, yeah, the internships. Everyone is talking and Aizawa is stating that after the event for the internships, with the hero killer, they are going to be moving into the dorms, and they are going to be given time to try and accustom to that. But they are also going to be taking a field trip to I Island in that time. Along with that, during that time, your dorms will all be set up, and everything will be moved in. They have already had meetings with your parents, and that will be going. They have had meetings with some of your guys' parents already, and the rest of those meetings will be happening over this one-week event. Now, Deku's mom, she literally believes Deku is literally bulletproof. Because he doesn't really care a lot about different things. He's never been injured. She's never seen him even with a scratch, aside from the bruises and the scars Deku's dad's left. Now, over that Kind of sad note. Everyone goes to I Island. Deku is actually in the private jet with All Might and Bakugo. As Deku is actually just sitting alone, Bakugo and All Might are talking. And All Might is actually asking about that quirk. Saying that it seems familiar, but it's kind of weird. Actually, I think it might be my mentor's quirk. Bakugo would say he doesn't really know, he just has been getting some strange dreams. He hasn't been paying attention to them, but it seems like this might be it. Because all he remembers is a black-haired woman with a... I believe it was a mole on her cheek. As all I would say that that is her. Deku would then bring up a question. Bakugo, if you could heal your body... Can't you just try healing All Might? Which Bakugo would realize he didn't even think about. As All Might would realize that he may actually have his injury healed. Because, let's say in this timeline, because of his injury, he's already, he's at 90% of his power. As I think I believe I explained that he was had a less brutal injury because he was, more, he was stronger. That he has a... I don't believe I put this in here, but he could hold on to his power, just not use it. So he can just look at the part of All Might and walk around sometimes. Which is all he would ever need to do. But... Mm, I believe I have heartburn. Now, after that, Baku would actually say that he can give it a shot, as he would actually... Grab All Might by the spot he was injured at, and hang on, I believe someone has commented something. Okay. Never mind, someone didn't comment something. I, um... I just hit 600 subscribers. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the drawing for the last part of this episode. Now. Hmm? Okay. 
Now then, Deku, he would actually go over to I Island with Bakugo and Deku. Or Deku. Bakugo would go to I Island with Deku and All Might. As they're on the way, Bakugo would have actually tried giving it a shot, healing All Might. Which, as soon as he touched the spot or the area, he would have immediately noticed part of it would have grown back, but he would have pulled his hand away. As All Might has actually coughed up quite a bit of blood. Now, All Might would tell Bakugo that he actually feels his power somewhat returning, as whenever he tried to buff down, he actually noticed it took him a minute to do so. Now, Deku is essentially sitting there with headphones as Bakugo is actually trying to heal All Might, and Deku is just watching this, somewhat confused, trying not to, like, basically be disgusted by it. Now, Bakugo would have successfully healed All Might after two or three tries, and All Might would have actually noticed that he can actually not buff down anymore. Which kind of astounds him, as he now has to work on his power now. Or he now has to work on his power. Which basically means training montage. Now, as soon as they would get to I Island, Deku, he would have actually gone through security, and they would have restra- <laughs> They would have tried restraining him, which sounds even better to say. Now, Deku is actually wearing his armor, and the metal it's made out of, like I did say, it is stretchy, so he can actually wear it like it's basically hockey pads, which are actually not very bulky, but it just looks white or just a steel color. Now, they would have tried to restrain him and actually take away Rita, but as soon as he would say that, fine, suit yourself, as he would just set down Rita. No, he wouldn't sit it down. He would just say, fine, suit yourself, as he would just drop it on the ground. And as soon as it hits the ground, it would have made a small crater by it. Which, they are now even more interested to detain it, or detain him. As Deck would say, if he wanted to, he could probably take down All Might, but he doesn't care. He knows he could beat him. In fact, the final exams are coming up, All Might, isn't that right? Yes, Midoriya? Alright, well, I look forward to fighting you then. As the security guards are in shock, trying to realize that this kid just said he'll take down All Might, and he's looking forward to fighting them, or fighting him. As they would immediately just see Deku's wearing his armor, and they see all the holes in it, as they would realize that Deku... They thought they mistook him for a pro, but they realize he's not a pro. Now, the events of Eye Island would go similar with a few differences. The obstacle course where Bakugo has to fight the robots and everything like that. Bakugo would have been fighting and he would have actually gotten around, let's see, three, two, four seconds. Which Deku would have immediately seen. As Deku, he would have actually taken off his armor, actually wearing this underneath. Just holding on to Rita, as he would have actually basically thrown Rita down onto the ground, actually cutting through a mountain in front of him, setting her into the earth. Which many people saw and are in disbelief in. Now, Deku would have immediately said that he was ready. As they would begin. Deku would immediately crank his heat up and he's actually just made a giant cruel sun throwing it in front of him. Now the heat actually burned through most of the robots but the cruel sun finished them off. Which Deku would immediately start walking away from. As soon as he threw it. Now then. As soon as that happened, Deku would have actually gotten two seconds. Flat if not a little underneath two seconds, so milliseconds. So, Deku is considered the strongest or the fastest person to finish the obstacle course. Now then, let us go to the introduction of Melissa. Melissa would be introduced to Deku, and she would immediately mistake him for the user of One For All. She would start shaking his hand and doing all that, and this is whenever Deku would say that he's not the user, he is, as she would look over and see Bakugo, which would kind of confuse her. 
Now then, this is whenever Deku, he'd be walking around the park, and he would have realized something about the obstacle course. He thinks he saw some familiar faces, as he would hear someone yell behind him, and it is Kendo. Kendo and everyone else has arrived, and Deku has realized that they essentially arrived before Class 1A. He thought they arrived around the same time, but no, they did not. As they would have asked Deku about the obstacle course and how some guy got two seconds flat, Deku would just say that was him, yes. Which is whenever everyone, they would have seen Kendo try and scold Deku about using his power that way, as Deku would have just somewhat threw his head back laughing a bit. He would have jokingly said that she's cute when she's angry, as she would have began blushing. Now, after that happened, everyone kind of just read the situation, and they left these two alone. Which is when Rodeco would have asked Kendo how she did on the obstacle course. She would have said that she didn't do very good, and she thinks that she needs to essentially just give up on it. Deku would have looked at her and actually put his hand up, saying that you must try, because there is no do or not do. You can't do bad on something you've never tried before. That just makes it a learning curve. You need to perfect your skills and master them completely. That is what I have done with my core. But I still have more to do. I am not perfect, but I am close to perfect. No one can truly be. For I am not, so therefore no one is. Which would actually confuse her, as she would realize that Deku just said, He is not perfect. Which is the closest he has ever heard him admit to even being wrong. Now, Deku, he would immediately tell her that she should go back and try again. As her time, let's say, was around at least 2 to 5 minutes. I believe, let's go with 5 actually. Now, Deku would immediately tell her that she should try again as everyone would see Deku. And they would think, dear god, he's trying it again. As he's talking with her. He would tell her to just try doing what Bakugo has tried doing with Black Whip. Just throw it everywhere and enlarge it as much as possible. Deku would realize that she's never... Deku would realize... Kendo would realize that she's never even tried enlarging her fingers when they're like this. Which she would actually be throwing around her hands... And as soon as she does so, she actually extends her arms and her fingers, which basically makes them throw everywhere as she's basically doing Chimera Kraken, which is Sun Eater's ultimate move. As she would do so, she would actually clear the robots in about a minute and 30 seconds, which actually really impresses her. And Deku would have actually... She would have immediately ran back over to Deku, saying that she did it, she did it, she's actually really proud of herself. Deku would immediately just put his hand on her head, saying that it's glad she did it, thinks that. But, you need some improvements. As she would begin blushing again, and they would immediately just walk off. Actually, Deku would take her to a couple gyms, showing her some different things, along with the fact that they can test out some high-tech equipment. Deku would break records on a lot of strength equipment, as Kendo would essentially be able to do... Hmm. When it comes to ranged quirks, she would actually perform second, as ba Deku would actually come first, in strength, speed, mid-range, long-range, and close-range combat. Which basically means that he just broke every one of All Might's records, performing better than him. Now, after that happens... Let us cut to later on into the day. Ugh, I just sw I almost swallowed my tongue saying that. Let us cut to later on in the day, where everyone is talking and going over everything. Deku would have actually arrived wearing a yellow tuxedo. Yellow and red. Basically like a golden style tuxedo. Now, as soon as he arrived, everyone would have seen him and Kendo would have actually been with him, which even makes everyone else question it, as this entire event has kind of just been weird to them. Deku's proved himself to be stronger than All Might, and All Might's seemingly actually around the class more. Now, 
Deku has actually been talking with Kendo and actually getting interested in her more and more. As he sees that she has a lot of improvements to do and she actually impresses him. Because he thinks it'll take her more time to with her quirk, but she's actually proven him wrong. Now, Deku, he would have actually just showed her a lot of different things along with that. He would have actually showed her a move she's seen a pro hero do where she essentially she essentially can slap her hands together, disorienting someone, and then just wrapping them around in tendrils. Which is basically like that string guy. Now, at the events of the dance, Deku would actually dance with Kendo, and everyone would be confused, as Bakugo would... Hmm, I realize I have Bakugo in the background, even though he's one for all user. He's the one for all user. Now, this is whenever All Might would be wrapped up as the villains would start invading the area. As soon as that happens, Bakugo, he would have actually tried wrapping up a lot of the villains, which he would do, as this is whenever Deku, <sighs> he would also begin attacking the villains. One of them would have tried wrapping up Deku with that high-tech equipment, and as soon as it actually wraps around Deku, Deku would have just laughed and actually just headbutted all the villains, as the last one he walks up to, he would have snapped straight through this cord and just tell them they need to surrender or there is an alternative as he would immediately just buff up and smash the guy into the ground with his foot, which I find to be very hilarious. I'm going to murder the pro heroes. Sees Deku as a giant just stomping on him. I'm going to have to stop you right there. Now. This is whenever Deku, he, him, he would immediately walk over, and All Might has actually somewhat been able to break some of these cords, but he's still struggling. As he would have bend down, burning the rest of them and ripping them. Which is essentially how he got out. He concentrated his heat to where the cords were, and just broke through what he could. Now, they would begin walking up the entire air. They would begin walking up the stairs and running around, as Deku would immediately just. He would be confronted with a lot of robots, as he would just turn on his quirk, turning on his friendly fire, which he tells everyone to stay out of the room for. As he would have made a cruel sun in his hand, just obliterating all the robots and melting them. Now, Deku would have actually told everyone to come back in, and they would all run throughout the entire building. Anytime they get an encounter with robots or villains, Deku could just take them down. Eventually, they would find Mr. Shield, and the event where he gets betrayed by that one guy and actually has the brainwashing tech stolen would happen. I believe it was... Was it brainwashing tech or cork enhancement tech? I don't remember. Whichever one it was would be stolen, and Mr. Shield, he would be shot, was. I believe, I think he was shot, yeah. As he would be shot, he would immediately just fall to the ground as Melissa's trying to essentially revive him, or help him. Bakugo would have actually used his restoration on him, actually healing him and getting the bullet out of his arm. Now, after this, Deku and All Might are actually running along with Bakugo behind them after doing this. They would be running upstairs, and they would find that they're already leaving with the helicopter. Deku would have immediately leaped into the air, making a cruel sun, actually flying in front next to the helicopter, asking them if they're going somewhere, as he'd crank up the heat, starting to melt everything in the helicopter. After that happens, these, these guys would actually start going down, as Alma would jump into the air, catching the helicopter, bringing it back down to the building. For a pretty rough landing, which would prompt the guy to open the suitcase using the tech, where the entire battle sequence happens. Now, this time, Deku, he's actually there with them, Bakugo smashing through as much stuff as he can, while Deku is just sitting there. Anytime he makes contact with a cement block, it just turns to dust. And he's actually just 
helping Baku do this because his explosions or his heat is just making Baku's explosions bigger because he's sweating more. Now, hmm, hang on. Now then, <sighs> this is whenever Deku, him, All Might, and Baku, they would have actually gone upwards or skywards. Deku is actually using blue flames. And he's actually starting to cackle a little bit, laughing. As he's actually having a lot of fun. Bakugo would realize that Deku is using his power, as Deku is actually just using his stockpiled nighttime power to rip apart the robot. And he's actually burning it, doing all this, ripping things apart. And he would have actually rip ro blech ripped off a part of the robot using it as a weapon. Because he does not have Rita. As soon as this would have happened, Bakugo and All Might are essentially... They're glad Deku's helping out, but Deku, he would immediately begin helping them again. Because he would have realized what he's doing as he would have tapped into his daytime power. Because he would have forgotten... What would have happened is he would have forgotten he was using his night, uh, his daytime power and switched over to his nighttime power as soon as he walked outside. Now, Deku would have immediately done that, buffing up quite a bit more, actually helping them with a triple Detroit smash, destroying the robot. And Deku would have been sent flying through at least a couple buildings. Whenever they find him, they would have asked if he's okay, and they would have just seen a thumb come out of the rubble. Now, that is where I'm going to be leaving this part off of here, guys. Actually, wait. Okay. I thought I was over 24 minutes. Now then. Deku would have actually just... Well, Bakugo and them would have actually helped a lot of the situation. And everyone would have returned to I Island after enjoying their vacation. Hmm. And they would go back to the dorms. And this is whenever they would all have... No, wait. Crap. Okay, yeah, no, I can just do that in the next episode. Next episode is the Black Forest training arc. I was going to do something, but I realized I just forgot. Now then. I hope you guys have a good rest of the night, and before I go, let's see. Oh my god, I did pick it. Okay. I talked about this quirk during part one of this series. I was legit surprised I picked this. Alright, I have the next quirk already lined up. 4600. This quirk I've thought a lot about. Now then. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I know what our 600 special is. Goodbye, guys.